Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Can you take a video of me saying... Vroom, vroom. Hi, Good morning adventurers, I hope everybody's keeping well and hello from Permet here in beautiful Albania. We have an interesting uh, vlog for you guys today. We're making our way to some thermal spa, thermal baths, um, cool bridge as well and a lot of things that we're going to check out today around here in Permet. So join us on the journey. We've picked up some of these electric bikes as well. If you can see it here, we got two of them. So let's do it. Before we start the video, as always, please make sure to hit that red subscribe button. Thank you. So we're about three quarters of the way there right now at the moment. These bikes are so much fun. Um, you can get up to like some pretty nice speeds with them, especially when you're going downhill, which is like crazy. We were going downhill around some like bends and stuff and it's fast. Um, the scenery as well around here, around the Permet area is just insane. It's mind blowing. I'm just going to take you down here for a sec and just show you what the uh, current view is. Check it out. Doesn't get much better than that. So we should be at the thermal springs and the cool bridge as well in a few. We made it to the thermal baths and it was really, really fun experience to take those e-bikes um, around the area here because obviously it's a lot up and down. So it was really, really fun. Um, but go and check this out. This is giving me a Lord of the Rings vibe. So like you don't have to go to New Zealand to find beauty like this. So we're going to just walk around now a little bit and check the area out and take you along with us. Okay guys, so we are gonna go now for a quick dip in the hot water. Maybe we're gonna start in the cold water. Yeah, I think you see here, you're gonna have to uh, go barefoot and cross this little river here. And then you get over there just behind me to where the hot springs are. So very excited to try this experience out. It's still pretty early in the morning, but people are starting to come. The tourists are starting to flock here. There's also a lot of local Albanians, obviously, that come here on a daily basis. So this is a very cool experience already. We just popped the drone up in the air as well. So check these drone shots out.
and nobody asks us for money or anything. So I'm, I assume it is gonna be for free here. Um, in case that changes, I'll let you know. Um, but I do think that around here, sorry, I'm just walking through the water here. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult to coordinate. Um, here, where I'm standing right now is cold water, like mountain water, really, really cold and refreshing. So it's super nice uh, if you come here on a hot day. But over there, I think that area there, um, there are like hot springs. So the water is gonna be between, I think 26 and 30 degrees. So even if you do come early in the morning, you can enjoy the hot springs over there. First up, we're gonna try this one here out. Luke is already in. I'm gonna join him now. Gonna try not to dip our equipment into the water. <laughs> okay, let's go. What's up guys? Welcome to the, the thermal experience. Uh, this is really interesting, so cool. This is so warm. Oh. Um, it's very strange because outside the water it's probably what like 26 27 right now degrees yeah yeah it's like 26 27 degrees celsius right now above water in the water it's like between 20 to 25 so it's weird when you stand up um it actually feels like it's cold um it feels like it's not a hot day at all so this is incredible we came in here um, just a few minutes ago and the place was pretty much packed full as well. But now we nearly have the whole thing for ourselves. So this is such a nice experience. And um, we highly recommend anybody that's watching this video to come and check these out. It's called the Benya Thermal Baths. You can see it with the giant <laughs> bridge over there as well, which is something we're going to check out just after we go for a, more of a swim. So we just dipped ourselves in three of the total six bathtubs or bathtubs hot springs around here. We dipped ourselves in this one over there, this one here, and the last one was this one. And um, each of them is supposed to help you with a different type um, of, of disease. So like it either can help you for your skin, for stomach, for the kidney or for rheumatic diseases, all of that. And the last one here that we dipped ourselves into actually like I could feel my kidneys a lot so in the end it even like you can feel that it's doing something in your body it, it felt like something was pulling on my kidneys basically so it was an insane um, experience around here and it's definitely 100% worth visiting the natural beauty around here is just breathtaking something to note as well is this bridge is from the Ottoman era and it actually is signifying the beginning of the Langarnica Canyon, which is just this way. Um, we're not too sure if we're gonna see much of the Langarnica Canyon because we don't have cars. Uh, we just have the electric scooters with ourselves today, but we are gonna go and explore as much as we can on foot. There's nothing better than an egg break in a canyon. <laughs> so the eggs that we stole from breakfast earlier are starting to come in handy now four boiled eggs uh, that we were served for breakfast and we as you saw earlier we just picked them off the table and chucked them into our bag so they're coming in handy now as like a nice little snack so well gonna... i chucked them off the table luke was feeling embarrassed yeah a little bit um we're just sitting there we the guest house that we're staying in um you get breakfast included so we got the breakfast but we got breakfast like just before seven o'clock in the morning so Neither of us were feeling very hungry, but uh, now we are, so we're gonna snack on an egg. Okay guys, so it's time to head back now to the center of Permet. We're gonna jump back on these bikes, head back to the center and grab a bite to eat, and then we're gonna finish this video.
Let's go! Rhythm is an eggy, go ahead and boil one. You can feel it in the air. We decided to drone a little bit here, but I thought that's the perfect time for another eggy. Mm. <laughs> awesome! You can find, if I may point with my egg towards it, <laughs> you can find a lot more bunkers around here than you can see, for example, I don't know, like in Girocaster, we didn't see that many bunkers. Here you can find quite a few. Okay guys, so we're back now in the center of Permet. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing day. Um, such a fantastic experience. We can't recommend Permet enough for you guys to come and visit. Right here now in the center, Permet is pretty small, um, but you do have some pretty incredible things to do here as well. You have the River Viosa that's just cutting straight through Permet here. You have a really large stone as well, which kind of signifies that you're entering into Permet too. I saw a bunch of YouTubers that came here to Permet and said the first thing that they see is this massive stone with, not, with the Albanian flag just stuck in the top. So that's where we're headed right now and we're going to take you along with us. So we arrived at the rock now and this here is the situation on how to get up. So you just have stairs and a little bit of a staircase up there. Um, from the other side it looked a lot more difficult to be honest. So this looks kind of nice. Um, yeah, we're going to go up now and check it out. All right, guys, so the city stone is located in the, in the town of Permet. It represents a dual monument, first category cultural monument and a nature monument. Archaeological excavations have not been carried out yet. That's really interesting. Um, something that uh, we are very interested in is history and just kind of the picking up the uh, kind of the reminders of the past very interesting when you visit foreign countries um, because these places have such a vast amount of interesting history and we arrived at the top we're up here now From up here you have a beautiful view over the entire city of Permet here behind me and um, you also realize how high the mountains are in Albania. Check this out! Permet is just surrounded by mountains all along. Wow! And up here you can even find a few ruins um, that the sign probably was talking about over there as well. Um, one very interesting thing to note about Permet is that you have the river Viosa here, which is this beautiful river. And it's one of the last completely wild rivers. So nothing was changed about it, you know, on the, on the sides of the river or anything like that. And it's really, really beautiful to swim in there. Obviously you have a current, um, which is quite funny. So it's a lot of fun there. You can do some wild wa water rafting as well. And um, yeah, just enjoy the water. It's freezing cold though. <laughs> If any of you have been watching our channel now for some time, don't think for one second that we came up to this big stone and didn't take some amazing drone footage. Here you go.
How do you feel now after this great achievement, Mr. Lucky? I, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we went on the pitch, we played a good game, and uh, at the end of the day, we did well. <laughs> Thank you so much for your contribution. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Just down right next to this big stone, um, we just got back down to the bottom. There's a bunker here, and um, we weren't expecting that at all, but um, all around Albania, you can find bunkers um, from Enver Hoxha, who was a, a dictator for a while that ruled over Albania. Check this out. He built bunkers because he was so paranoid that there was going to be a massive war and people were coming for uh, him. So yeah, he built bunkers and that's where his uh, soldiers used to hide out in anticipation for an attack. Speaking of bunkers as well, if you guys are ever in Tirana, uh, we know for a fact that in Tirana, you can go to a place called Bunk Art. So if you're into art, you're into history, you're into kind of contemporary art, go and check Bunk Art because um, very cool place and definitely worth checking out if you're in Tirana. And I think there's a few other Bunk Arts dotted around Albania too. So right now we're gonna go and get something to eat both of us it's food, hungry food, food, food. always the best part of our day is getting food you know that very well if you are a foodie like we are we came from the other side of this rock not from this side and check out what we found excuse me it cuts straight through the center of the rock all the way to the other side my voice is echoing right now inside this rock echo <laughs> Not sure if we should walk through it though. Hmm. Hell no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Just on a little side note there, um, everything we did today was completely for free. So like the only thing that we really spent today was the rent for the electric scooters. And that's it, no? 10 euro for the entire day for the electric scooters. Yeah. So very cheap. Yeah. Today we decided to go with a local restaurant called Sofra Permitare and um, I ordered stuffed eggplants with meat, some köfte and Luke has the köfte in tomato sauce and we're still waiting for your tave de. Tave de. Should arrive in a few, obviously a uh, Fanta Exotic. I'm gonna miss the Fanta Exotic so much when we leave Albania. <laughs> and the Coca-Cola. Oh man, what a meal that was. Such a great restaurant, really um, great food, super tasty. Uh, I had the kofta with tomato sauce and tave de and a Coca-Cola and it was spectacular, really tasty. I had the kofta as well, but without the tomato sauce and the stuffed eggplant with vegetables and meat. And it was hands down such a good uh, eggplant, like wow. Sofra, really Sofra Permitare is the name of that restaurant. If you are coming, <laughs> if you're coming to Permet, check that restaurant out. Uh, well, that was a long day. What a day! Yeah, we uh, <laughs> we've been up now since six o'clock this morning, and we've been out genuinely the entire day. So. It's been a long day. It's coming up now to nearly nine o'clock. Um, so we have a lot of stuff still to do. We still have to pack our stuff. Tomorrow is actually a travel day, believe it or not. Again, we're going to a new destination. We spent the last three days here in beautiful Permet. Um, we've done pretty much everything you can do um, here. Um, so we've seen the center. We've seen um, obviously what you guys saw with us today took the electric bikes around everywhere we saw the big stone we swam in the viosa river there the other day as well which was amazing um and tomorrow it's on to the next adventure let's um, go can't wait um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to drop a thumbs up make sure to hit the red subscribe button and drop a comment down below if you do have any recommendations of anywhere that we need to be going because obviously as i said we're on to the next destination tomorrow 
and then we're going to continue on to more destinations so if you have recommendations our travels uh it, we're not stopping anytime soon this is going to be a continuous thing for a very long time so we have a lot of travel hopefully. content not hopefully this is going to be a permanent <laughs> thing um so we're going to be traveling for a very long time so uh yeah make sure to stay tuned turn on the post notifications as well because we are putting out content we're more motivated than we've ever been and we're ready to show you guys some amazing places in some amazing countries albania being one of them this is our favorite country that we've been to so far out of this world place honestly and so yeah new destination tomorrow can't wait for that we're up actually at six o'clock in the morning again tomorrow or no we're up at like five o'clock in the morning tomorrow just to get the bus uh so we're gonna be having breakfast there's only one bus yeah there's and one it's insanely early in the morning so there's one bus so uh we're gonna have to have breakfast like at around six o'clock in the morning so uh that's gonna be eventful but regardless, we're going to take you guys along on the journey with us. So uh, we are Nalo Adventures. I'm Luke. I'm Naomi. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.